Chicago police are investigating at least five overnight shootings across the city's south side. In one of those shootings, a man died after he was shot while driving. WGN's Judy Wang reports. In daylight, residents got a better look at the damage done at 69th and Parnell. My husband dialed 911 and they came and it was just something to see. I'm just, oh my God, I just couldn't believe it. Karen Clark heard a scraping noise, looked outside and saw a pickup truck had crashed just steps from her front door. It was just kind of just kind of horrifying. I just started praying for the individual because I didn't know what had happened and hope whoever it was that they would survive and they would be okay. The truck slammed into a fence and tree just after midnight. Police found a man in the vehicle who had been shot in the chest. He was pronounced dead at UFC Hospital. The Inglewood incident was one of several Southside shootings that happened in a two hour span overnight. Police say someone walked up to a 53-year-old man on the sidewalk in the 300 block of 106th Street in Roseland and shot him several times. Several people were in a third floor apartment at 71st and Merrill in South Shore. Shots were fired, critically wounding a 24-year-old man. CPD reports an altercation led to a shooting inside a home at Marquette and Harvard Avenue. A 61-year-old man shot, was hospitalized in critical condition, Police took a suspect into custody. I looked on the ground, I'm like, and then I started looking around. Then I saw the other three cars being hit, <laughs> and, and it was scary. Back on Parnell in Inglewood, people who woke up to find their cars damaged wondered if the pickup truck driver hit their cars before plowing into the fence and tree. It hit, like, multiple cars, you know, like it was bouncing, you know what I mean? One side, two on this side. Very surprised we didn't hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? Usually it's, 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 it's loud and, and, and reckless around here, but we didn't hear nothing last night. On the south side, Judy Wang, WGN News.